guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And this week I am going to be dressing like a Barbie doll. So if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of these style swap videos where I dress like celebrities or characters, but with Barbie in particular, I am very interested to see how these Barbie clothes are actually gonna look on me, on my body, because I have a very different build than the traditional Barbie body. So I don't know how flattering it's gonna be on my body having a more mid-size curvy thick body. <laughs> also, I feel like the typical Barbie style is more preppy than my style. Like I'm a little bit more like mom jeans, dad shirt, rock the casual look. I don't think I've ever worn heels by my own choosing in my entire life. So this week is going to be uh, different for me. That's for sure. It could be a rough week, so if you wanna wish me luck, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, join the family. We are on the long road to 1 million subscribers. I would love to hit that milestone, so help me out join the family. So Skylar and I are heading to Target to pick out some Barbies so that I can recreate their outfits. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at Target in the Barbie section. And I think the way I wanna do this is choose five Barbies and then try to recreate their specific outfits. I also know that there's a curvy Barbie, which I think is so freaking cool, but I looked on the shelves and it doesn't look like they have any here at my Target. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is find four in store and order one curvy Barbie online and then recreate all of those outfits. Wow, Ken is like stunning over there. Maybe oh, we should get Steven a Ken outfit for one of the days. Wait, a million percent. Yeah. Okay, yes, this is happening. Steven, you have no say. <laughs> That's very like Coachella, like the Dolan twins at Coachella. But also that one's kind of funny because it's like bro. That's like the Jake Paul bird. <laughs> Jake Paul, Jake Paul Dolan. Dolan twins. And there's two. So. Yeah, okay. I like this one. Wait, look, look at mom Barbie's outfit. See, my Ooh. outfit, like I'm just ready to like dress like a mom. Or, oh, she's a teacher. My glasses are even like that. Okay, all right, we'll do teacher Barbie. Look, there's a Barbie who has like a million dogs. Wait, I, it's a pregnant dog? Wait. And when you press it, it gives birth to the puppy. You have to, you have to get that one. This one poops and that one is pregnant. So which, do we wanna poop or do we wanna be pregnant? I mean, you might be kind of triggered by the poop one. That's true. Bella did poop in the floor yesterday and I got very upset, so, so the pregnant one. Okay, we just need one more Barbie. We have three here. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's supposed to be like Barbie's little sister. Her name's Stacy, but she has a computer and a headset, which makes me think she's like YouTuber Barbie. So look, she's an iPad in the corner. We stand. So we have our four Barbies here. We have to go home and order a curvy Barbie and then we're gonna pick a Ken doll one and surprise you guys and Steven with whatever it ends up being. <laughs> Hello and good morning. It is like a month later. All of the Barbie clothes have been ordered to recreate the dolls that we bought at Target. So today I am dressing like Barbie newborn puffs. <laughs> so this top that I'm wearing is very similar to Barbie's, but it's like mesh see-through. It's actually like a rave top that I got on Amazon. <laughs> So obviously, uh, I don't think Barbie would just have like nips out in a see-through shirt. So I have a tan bodysuit layered underneath. And then these high-waisted denim -y soft shorts that I got from Abercrombie actually in that video, that $100 outfit challenge I did a few weeks ago. And then on the bottom, I was supposed to wear my white Adidas, but I left them at my parents' house. So I was thinking of wearing these little pink shoes. They're like very similar in style to the white ones, but obviously they're pink. And they're, I mean, they're Barbie. Barbie wears a lot of pink. So luckily today is the first day. So I had the pick of whatever outfit I wanted to wear because today I am going to Disneyland and this was the most like Disney ready outfit that I had for this video. I do think this outfit is like way more like bright and I guess young is the word that I would use. It looks very young, but at Disneyland, I kind of dress like a grown up toddler anyways most of the time. So it, it kind of works. Also, Barbie has a pregnant dog that you like pump its head and then the puppies come out. Uh, yeah, I have two dogs, but I don't think if I pump their head, they're gonna have puppies come out. But uh, yeah, let, let's go hang out with the dogs. I guess that's what I have to do in this outfit before I head out. While I was filming my little clip in this outfit upstairs, Bruiser would not stop barking the entire, oh, there she goes again. Oh, sweet girl, you just wanted to let me know that Bella was trapped outside. Come on, come on. Oh. That was a valid bark freezer. I'll give it to you there. Yes, there's pups on the way. It's not working. Why aren't the puppies coming out? It's not working. 
<laughs> Barbie's definitely not wearing Mickey ears in this outfit, but uh, I'm gonna have to add some. <laughs> Let's go. I am at Disneyland, as you can see, with the lovely Catherine Steele. Hi. Guys, check out her channel. I will have it linked in the description. Yeah. But we are gonna be at Disney all day today. Yeah. And we've already been here for like two hours, but I never told you I was wearing this yeah. outfit for a video. So, this is the outfit. I'm dressing like, not a celebrity, but let's say an icon. An, I an icon. If I had to guess, yep. I'm gonna say Barb. Yes! <laughs> I didn't think this was super Barbie, so I'm glad you yeah, got it. No, I just bright pink. I'm like Barbie girl. I, I got my nails painted pink for the video too. Cute. I usually do blue, but this outfit is actually pretty comfortable for Disneyland, at least so far. Like it's very hot and very sunny today, as again you can tell by the beads of sweat on my nose. <laughs> but it's actually a really comfortable outfit. I kind of forgot I was filming for a video, which is why I didn't mention it. I feel like I need to do like an Instagram photo holding like a lollipop. Oh in my this. god, yes! Oh, Fantasyland. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about this outfit outfit because I have been wearing it for a full day pretty much now but I think the first day of dressing like Barbie honestly was better than I expected this outfit is very comfortable and pretty great for Disneyland these shorts cover the chub rub which as we know is very important for me and the shirt is cropped but it meets like right at the shorts so I like the look but I think if I was gonna wear it again I wouldn't wear the bodysuit underneath because when this rides up it looks a little off and I think if I was just wearing like a bandeau or something to cover that but showing my stomach I think that would be cuter the top I think is definitely a little bit young for me. I think my style skews a little bit older. This is a little bit more like toddler meets teen vibe. Honestly, this outfit is working pretty well for me. Good morning, guys. It is day two, and I am very excited about today's outfit. It is very like cliche Barbie, like what you think of when you think Barbie. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna die. I cannot walk in these shoes at all these are not normal heels like i'm already bad enough with normal heels these are like stiletto death contraption hell shoes look at these all right so this is today's look i actually really like it from the knees up we've got the checkered skirt the pink like bell sleeved blouse oh and i forgot the blue cat eye sunglasses this is like a fun Fun look, I like it a lot. So it's about one o'clock right now. I know I'm just getting dressed and ready at one o'clock, but I was working at my desk all morning. Steven gets home around four today and I actually have a special surprise for him. I told him we're just gonna go on a little dinner date tonight and then I needed to film something, but what he doesn't know is that he has a matching coordinated Ken outfit that he's gonna wear out on the date with me. So we got Steven this like blue ombre polo, white shorts, and my personal favorite part, he is wearing bright orange shoes with this look. So I'm gonna work at my desk for the next few hours in this outfit. I'm gonna try to limit my walking because walking in these shoes is literally hell. Waddling down the hallway in my heels because I just heard the garage door, the dogs are barking, and that means that Steven is home. So first of all, what do you think of my outfit? Wow. <laughs> We've got, oh, I'm almost as tall as you in my heels. Wait, come back here. Look. Yeah. I'm so uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable. So this is very cute. Uh, that's what I'm saying, knees up. I really like the outfit. So that I'm- different, but it works. I'm dressing well. like Barbie. Barbie. Yes. I would only guess from those. Really? It's the glasses? I thought it would be the shirt, because it's pink. Everyone enjoy Sierra in the heels, because I'm gonna veto these. For dinner? These aren't leaving the house. Alright, well you guys can at least watch me <laughs> walk upstairs. I'd be it'd be torture. Look, Ma! No hands! What? I don't look just casual, comfortable. Okay, so we've laughed at me in the heels, but now it's time to laugh at you a little bit. You ready to see what you're wearing, Ken? First we have this ombre Hollister polo shirt. Not too bad, right? Yeah, it's not bad. We're gonna make it a little bit more like frat boy on a boat. So we've got some white shorts for you to go with it. And we gotta add a weird element. Well, don't blame me, blame Ken. Orange shoes. The second shoe's on the ground and I'm not gonna bend down and pick it up because these heels are terrible. <laughs> Honestly, they're not that weird. They look a little weird up close, but like, I don't know. I would take those shoes over these shoes literally any day of the week. <laughs> All right, put it on, let's see it. All right, so Barbie and Ken. Barbie and Ken. Well, like the knockoff normal person version. All right, what do you think of your outfit? Shirt's kind of cool. Neat color thing. 
Uh, white shorts. I don't know. I've never owned a pair of white shorts. They actually kind of work for you. I kind of dig them. I like them on you. The shoes are a lot, but... The shoes don't fit in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> and they're kind of ridiculous, and I look forward to never wearing these again. Uh, at least you have those. I have these. <laughs> Sierra, now that I've given her, I've given her a firm line saying like, nope, those are not even going to come to dinner because she's so uncomfortable and uh, it's not worth pushing through even for a video. See, like this is the biggest kind of heel I can do. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> For real though, these heels are about as as tall as it can go for me until I start getting wobbly. So this is what I'm gonna wear. See, I would venture to say that the little white heeled booties are actually better with this outfit than the heels. What do you think, Steven? Yeah, you look happier. <laughs> I feel happier. See, I can walk totally normal in little heels like this. I think they're cute. I think they're comfortable. And uh, yeah, they don't make me want to scream. So let's go to dinner. <laughs> come on, Barbie. What is it? Oh, come on, Barbie. Let's yeah, go party. <laughs> ah, 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 yeah. I feel like this is something I would actually kind of wear. Yeah, that minus the glasses. No, with the glasses. The glasses add that like nice pop of blue that I like. I like it. Okay. It adds like a pop of question. <laughs> It is day three of dressing like Barbie. Well, actually day three was supposed to be yesterday But I decided to skip a day because yesterday I had my graduation party if you guys watch the vlogs I'm sure you've seen it. I will link it in the description. It was wild We had an ice luge and a mechanical bowl if that tells you enough But that being said I wanted to be really comfortable in what I was wearing at my grad party So I didn't dress as Barbie yesterday. So I skipped today. So we are doing day three right now today is gonna be kind Kind of like a chill out recovery day. I have some errands to run from yesterday's party. Let's see what outfit I'm wearing today. So day three, I am going to be dressing like Barbie, but not actually Barbie, Barbie's little sister, Stacy. Wait, wait, we're missing something. Now I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'm not gonna wear the headphones all day, but it is part of the look, so let, let's go through it. I am wearing my combat boots, my Doc Martens. I haven't really worn these in a couple months because they're more of like a fall winter thing and it has been pretty warm lately. We found this polka dot dress on Amazon that was really similar and then Skylar cut out a heart to match the Stacy dress and sewed it on here. Now, does anybody recognize this fabric? I'll give you a second. Comment down below what you think it's from. It if you guessed the Fashion Nova dress from like three months ago, you are correct. It is now missing a heart-shaped piece of fabric. <gasps> oh my gosh. The dress has pockets! It has pockets! <laughs> we love a dress with pockets. Oh, that just made my day so much better. I do think this dress is not very flattering on me. The waist is like up here, so it almost makes me look pregnant. Like, hello, this is my child. I am with child. My child is... A burrito. Oh, how far along are you? Mm, two hours. I feel like I usually go with more fit and flare dresses, whereas this one is just a little bit more shapeless. And where it does have definition is more of an empire waist, so like right below my chest. And it's just not my favorite shape. Come on, guys. Come in. Come in, come in, come in. Let's go. First task of the day. Gotta take the dogs outside. Why are you guys so stubborn? Come on. I'm getting my boots all wet, come on. Also, I just realized I kind of look like a Care Bear. You know how Care Bears have like big hearts on their tummies, except mine's like on my boobs. <laughs> So I just got over to my parents' house. All of the rentals are being picked up right now. So like the bar, the little cocktail tables, the round tables, the, the big tent down on the grass. I'm kind of out of breath because I've been running around picking everything up. But I think my part is done. I think the rental company is just picking up the rest of the stuff. <gasps> There's a spider on my lens. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> okay. Anyways, uh, my dad and Steven were cleaning up here this morning and they loaded up the stuff I need to drive back and return into their big car. My parents have like a big expedition. So they put the audio equipment in there that I'm driving back and the empty kegs that I'm driving back. And I'm gonna stay in this outfit for all of my errands. It's actually very comfortable and like breezy. Probably couldn't have asked for a better, more like comfy outfit when I am pretty tired and a little hungover because it's just loose fitting and light and airy and pretty Pretty comfortable. Hi. Hello. I have uh, some equipment from a rental this weekend that I'm dropping off. I, I'm having 
less positive vibes about this outfit now that my day is like mostly done. Here's the thing. So yes, it's comfortable, it's loose, it's flowy. With the combat boots, it adds kind of like a fun little edgy vibe. But at least on me, this doesn't look like Barbie. Like on the Barbie doll or the Stacy doll, it looks more feminine, it looks very cute. And on me, I feel like I just look like I'm a grown up toddler. <laughs> and I think part of that is the structure of this dress. I just don't think it's super flattering. I also don't really wear a lot of like thick strap tank top dresses and tops. The heart is pretty funny though. I, I think Skylar did a really good job with the DIY and it just, it doesn't look like a typical adult outfit. I saw a lot of people looking at this part in particular and being like, what is that woman wearing on her boobs? <laughs> All right, we are at day number three. We have Teacher Barbie coming in hot over here. So uh, Skylar and I picked this outfit because we thought it, it was it was colorful, it was what you think of as Barbie, but it was more mature than some of the other outfits. Teacher Barbie's rocking some glasses, so I am going to do the same. I actually do wear glasses. These are my actual glasses. Well, I'm supposed to wear them, but I don't wear them that often. I try to wear them all the time at my desk, and I don't really wear them much else, but today I'm gonna wear them all day. This is definitely the outfit that feels the most me so far. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing an outfit for a video. It just feels like something I would wear. It's very comfortable too. I feel like I can just do all the things I have to do today and not really worry about what I'm wearing. It's also pretty flattering. Like the shirt isn't like fitted or anything, but it is tailored in at the waist a little bit. So it gives that shape a little bit more. So I feel very good. Uh, I think this might be one of my favorite outfits so far. Although I did really like outfit one. We'll see how I like this one throughout the whole day. Skylar's working in the office today and she just pointed out something about this outfit. You've worn this outfit before. I, I didn't even realize it. Like, like I literally, I remembered the exact photo shoot where you wore it like, what was this? It's like literally the same thing. The only difference is that this shirt is polka dotted and that one is like, chambray, just like denim. What's so interesting is going into this video, we weren't sure how different your style was from Barbie. And apparently it's it, very similar. Uh, well, you know what? I'm teacher Barbie today. So that's, that makes sense. yeah, I'm not like fashionista Barbie on the daily. I'm not like Stacy Barbie on the daily. I'm teacher Barbie on the daily. That's my style. Love that for you. I love it. <laughs> All right, I have been at my desk for a few hours now doing some work. Still really, really loving this outfit. The next thing we're working on right now is we're gonna load all of the Poshmark orders into my car. If you guys didn't know, I have a Poshmark where I sell clothes that I wear for videos that I don't need to keep or clothes that I have that I don't need anymore. And then you guys can buy them. So there will be a link to that in the description if you wanna check out any of the items from this video or other videos. All right, my errand stay is going well. I shipped out the packages, I got a car wash, I went to Target, I went to the grocery store. And now, last step, I am at Walgreens picking up a prescription. And then I'm gonna be going home and doing some more work with Skylar. It's like four o'clock right now, so we'll only be working for like two more hours when I get back, but it's been a very successful day and this outfit has been honestly perfect. It's very comfortable, it's pretty flattering, and it is very my style. We made it. it is day five, my last day dressing like Barbie. Skylar is over here, right over there in the corner, folding some clothes for videos. So today is just gonna be a work day in the office and it's my last day. I'm excited about this one because I am dressing like curvy Barbie. So going all the way down to today, Barbie has released a like curvy line. They released it a few years ago where they now make a Barbie who is not just thin. They have different proportions. Now, this is curvy Barbie, so obviously still pretty thin, but it's, you know, it's an improvement, baby steps. So this is the outfit I'm gonna be wearing today. All right, so I've got this denim dress and then layered over it, I have this white kind of like mesh crocheted top. This was actually like a long sleeve shirt, but we cut it and hemmed it to be more of a tank top since that's what the Barbie dolls outfit is. Red necklace and to my dismay, red heels. As you guys saw in day two, your girl cannot do heels, but uh, we're gonna try our best to make it work today. Putting this outfit on, I don't think this really accentuates my curves in some sort of special way that the first four Barbie outfits didn't. If anything, it's kind of like covering up my curves a little bit because of like the layered t-shirt over the like denim dress. I think it's a cute look. It's not really my style, but it definitely feels more Barbie than a lot of the other outfits did. Oh my gosh, I look so awkward walking in heels. 
<laughs> hey, what do you think of my outfit? I, I mean, I think it's very flattering. I think it's cute. It just is like a little mature for you. Which is interesting because the first four Barbie outfits all felt really young. Yeah. Like they were like hearts and flowy and like this is like, I guess curvy Barbie is like boss she's a, babe. Yeah, she's a Barbie. Woman. We stand. <laughs> we stand. The dress has pockets. We love a dress with pockets. I need to go downstairs and get my straightener. And I'm literally so nervous about walking downstairs in heels. I don't wear heels, like at all. So we're uh, we're gonna use the handrail for this. Here we go. One, two, three. This is way bigger of a struggle than it really should be. <laughs> I'm in position, camera set up, monitor is going, I am ready to film, except I'm gonna change into a different shirt for this because yeah, I don't need to be wearing this shirt in the unrelated main channel video that I'm filming. <laughs> now that my hair and makeup's done, I feel like looking at the full outfit, it, it works better. What do you think, Skylar? I feel like it makes a big difference. I think so. I think I looked like out of place as the like boss lady woman who like coordinates her outfits, but now like, I could play the part. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it is a good four hours later. We finished filming, it went really well. I am now editing at my desk. I do have an editor now, so I don't edit all my own videos, but I do at least like two a month to keep up with my editing skills. So that's what I've been doing today since filming. Skylar just went home. We had a very productive day. I think Steven's gonna be home from work soon and I'll probably put on my PJ shortly after that because I feel like wearing, especially the heels, I've been wearing the heels all throughout the house. I knew I wasn't really gonna leave the house today because I was just working in the office. So I was like, I just have to wear the heels all day. I have to commit. I will say I felt pretty cute in this outfit once I had my hair and makeup done. I think being in this outfit and not being done up felt a little bit out of place, but once this matched this, I feel like it all worked together. Heels obviously aren't my thing, but it was pretty fun to wear them twice for this video. I'm surprised I only had to wear them twice. I honestly thought it would have been more for Barbie. I was surprised though. I think this outfit was, you know, fine and somewhat flattering, but it, it was the curvy Barbie outfit, and I don't think it really stood out from the other Barbie outfits, which maybe is a good thing because they're still dressing curvy Barbie in like fashionable clothes and like the little denim dress. And I like that. I like that they're not like giving her special outfits. But also, I kind of had a feeling that the curvy Barbie outfit would be my favorite, and I don't think it was. It was okay. It was cute. It just wasn't super my style, and I also don't think it was that flattering for my body. After dressing like Barbie for a week, I realized that there are so many different Barbie looks. There's not even just like one style. Barbie, Barbie is every woman. Barbie has every style. But I think my favorite Barbie look and Barbie outfit would probably be day number one, actually. Even though at first I felt like the outfit was a little bit young for me, I feel like wearing it to Disneyland, that totally worked for that vibe. And the shorts were really comfortable. They were long enough to stop the chub rub. And I feel like the silhouette of the outfit was really, really flattering. I also had a lot of fun with day two and dressing similar to Steven was a blast, but those heels were killer. <laughs> Speaking of heels, I think I would make my least favorite outfit actually number five, the curvy Barbie outfit, and that's mainly because of the heels. I feel like the outfit on its own was okay. There wasn't anything terrible about it, but I just really struggled in the heels. And I feel like with outfit number two, the really like cute, fun, vibrant outfit made up for the struggle that was those heels. Whereas outfit number five, the outfit was okay, and the heels were tough. But let me know down in the comments, what were your opinions? What was your favorite outfit? Do you think that Barbie's style has changed over the years? Is it the same way that you remember it as a kid? I feel like I remember Barbie wearing a lot more dresses and a lot more heels. So maybe that was just the Barbies I had were dressed like that. Or maybe they have made Barbie's style more attainable over the years. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be confident, love your body, and I'll see you next time. Bye.